The title of a parentage is actually really important on Amazon, but it's wildly misunderstood and often ignored. My name is Stephen Pope, and I'm the founder of My Amazon Guy. I'm going to be looking at some of my own items to show you what a good optimized title looks like and what a bad one looks like. So here is one of my own tumblers, Papa Bear, child name, child name. And I'm bringing this up because it's kind of fun to showcase an actual parentage item for Father's Day as we've got that coming up here. So this particular item is a customization item. You can get it in three colors, the number of kids. You can put the kids' names on there. And if you haven't done Amazon customization before, it's a nice way to get some extra dollars in the door. While we're at it, why don't we look at some video footage of me actually holding a bear cub. This is a very long time ago when I used to be a television reporter in Rexburg, Idaho, and they have the Yellowstone Bear Cub World there where they actually let you hold bear cubs. As you can see, I actually have no freaking idea how to hold a bear cub because that was the first time. It was kind of a fun experience there um, and maybe some animal abuse. Not sure. And I had this really great bear theme going for me only to realize that the parentage doesn't exist in Seller Central for handmade and it's a totally different section. So we're going to go a little bit of a counter plan here. First, here is what an optimized parentage title looks like. And underneath here, you can see we've got two different products. We have five different SKUs, but two products. And here the title of the parent is filled in. When we click it, we're of course not going to see the parent title. We're gonna see the child name because the child name shows up on the detail page in about 90% of categories. Uh, there is some categories where this isn't true, however. Holsters being one of them, we're having an issue right now where the parent title is actually overriding the children on many of our listings uh, in this particular category in sports and outdoors. I actually have more challenges, more problems in the sports and outdoors category, um, catalog issues, parentage issues, catalog variation name issues than any other category for whatever reason. Now, here is an example of unoptimized parent titles. These are incorrect and not good. They're just three words, two words. These are parentage titles that don't have the keyword juice put in them. They don't have any contextual information. So we've got these sports tumblers right here, and, and we haven't even launched them, of course, and so they're not really optimized yet. But the idea, though, is if you have an unoptimized title like this, it can affect your search ranking, and I'll show you how. And by the way, this is how I actually caught this issue on my own account. I was looking up some keywords to shoot a different video, and I came across this title right here for the single product search right in Cerebro of Helium 10, and it said stemless wine glass. And I'm like, why does it only say that? I went and copied the ASIN. I went over to Amazon. I put in the ASIN. I looked it up, and I was like, well, here's my I'm not drinking alone wine glass. I click on it, and of course, the title is fine. So why was Cerebro polling... Uh, this particular uh, naming convention right there. And, I, and then I, it dawned on me and I'm like, oh my gosh, it's pulling the parent title. Here's on the back end where that parent title is displayed right here. And now I'm going to explain the impact. So back to the Megapint glass, this or tumbler, this item is doing really well for me. And when I scroll down to the bottom, you'll see, hey, I'm number 78 in tumblers and wine glasses. Hey, that's cool. So let's go ahead and click on it. And in here, here is where a parent title may display. So instead of being able to see a fully optimized title, you would instead see the parent title on the screen. I've seen it multiple times. Um, and as we scroll down, it might take a second to get over to number 78 here. We're on page two. Nobody really shops this way, um, in my opinion. But, you know, it's nice bragging rights to be at the top of the 100 items in all of tumblers, right? So right here, we got number 78 in tumblers and water glasses. Notice how the 79 badge and the 78 right there. Sometimes there's a little bit of a data delay between the two. And although this particular item has an optimized parent title and it shows up right here, which is fantastic, your parent title can display right here. And that's, that's a, a glaring indication that you could be losing sales if certain pages on Amazon would display an unoptimized short parent title. There's another location it shows up on the actual detail page. I wasn't actually able to trigger that today, but I recall it from two years ago when you were able to click a button somewhere in the buy box and it would display all the variations and then you would see the parent title reflect there. 
Um, so not a really big consumer issue, but it just shows me the data points in multiple locations of how Amazon is displaying a parent title, which means it's important. Finally, a parent can also have optimization or keyword juice coming from Google. So if you don't have an optimized title for your parent, it won't rank on Google's search engine. So what I'm trying to say here is if you don't have it optimized, you're not gonna be able to be seen. And if you do have it optimized, you're getting an additional layer of juice coming from multiple locations. Uh, keep in mind here that this is generally why rebuilding a parentage has some loss of sales. So if you've ever rebuilt a parentage and wonder why sales went down, more than likely, if it was a mature listing with hundreds or thousands of sales, it's because your parent ASIN is now a dead link on Google. If you want to learn more about parentages, click the link at the top of this description. We have all the different parentage types, size, quantity, color, flavor, color, size, style, and many other informations about parentage's best practices. Come check out our website over at myamazonguy.com and click on this video for parentage theory. I've done a bunch of parentage theory videos. Thanks, guys.